hello, hello. This blessed our warrior one. Here all the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Today I feel led to read Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. Unto the angel of the church of Ephratus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh. In the midst, in, in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, I know thy works and thy labor and, and thy patience, and know how canst not bear them with them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left my first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art, fallen and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest, the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church of Samrina, Write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I knew the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be, be thou, thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. For the tribulation saints that go through, the, we're in the tribulation by the way, but for the tribulation saints that are going to end up in the F dot 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 E dot 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 Molly dot 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 Alexander figured out what that means. Um, as God for God to figure out what that means, uh, camps. Um, you're going to be tried, and you're going to have the magic ocean potion pushed on you, the mark of the beast. And do not take it, no matter what, no matter how much torture or abuse, or even if you die, you will be dying for Christ. Because if you take it, you will become an abomination. To the Lord, and you will be sent to eternal damnation, in the lake of fire. Ugh. So, you have to be, as he says right here, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, for the for those that end up in those places and end up at the um, slicer that uh, that removes um, pumpkin heads, let's just say that much. Think about it. Uh, yeah. I have to be careful what I say. It could go around the algorithm, but... When it comes to these things, because the algorithm gets very easily triggered nowadays. So, hmm, Figure out what that means. <laughs> ask God for guidance. Ask Him for wisdom and knowledge. He will bless you with wisdom and knowledge. But for, for uh, those that will be put in that place... Uh, be faithful unto death. I would never ever take the mark of the beast the magic ocean potion i'd rather uh go to the slicer and um be faithful unto death he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches and he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death and the angel of the church in per per pergamos Write, these things saith he which hath a sharp sword with two edges. 
I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where, wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelt. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there, there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So, ha so hast thou also them that told, hold the doctrine of the Nicolaites, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come un unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give them a white stone, in, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saying, He that receiveth. I just want to add that during the, uh, the time period after the, uh, during Exodus, when uh, Moses and the, uh, and the in the children of Abraham, you know, the Israelites were marching to the promised land. God gave them the hidden manna to eat. The food, he called it the food of the angels, as it's called. Just a thought. Just came to me. And unto the angel of the church of Thy Thyteria write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like, the, like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prop prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of, of her fornication, and she repenteth not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and, the, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their evil deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But many of you, I say, and unto the rest of Thyteria, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other, none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast until I come. And that's what we should do. We should hold on fast have, and have patience. And because Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon to rapture the church. He's going to first rapture the 144K, which is the bride of Christ. They're going to come down and do hard healing and deliverance and get people ready for the big rapture too large to number. So hold fast to Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Amen, amen. Peace be with you, if you have not taken the mark.